This segment of the news is brought to you by Great Basin College, a pioneer in distance education. Your success is their tradition. Now offering over 25 degree and certificate programs in Harump and online. Teenage Nobel Peace Prize recipient Malala Yousafzai became an honorary Canadian citizen on Wednesday. The 19-year-old called on Canada's leaders to take real action to improve educational opportunities for women in a speech to the country's parliament. Ms. Yousafzai was shot in the head by Taliban mil militants in 2012 when she was just 15 in her native Pakistan. She was targeted due to her advocacy for women's education. She told Prime Minister Justin Trudeau that she wants to thank Canada for its passion for girls' education, humanity, refugees, and for standing up for women's rights and for peace. Well, let's join Darby with today's Save a Pet. Hi, I'm Darby here at Desert Haven Animal Society, and today we are joined with Lady. Lady is a two-year-old pit mix. She's a brindle color with some white little spots and stuff on her. She is just a little sweetheart who's really looking for her forever home. She prefers to be around dogs her size. Even smaller dogs are okay, but she doesn't really like cats, so no cats in the home. But she is really sweet, and she just wants to be loved by her family. So you should come down and see her and all of the animals here at Desert Haven Animal Society. You can stop on by. They're on Siri Lane behind the Nye County Courthouse. That's on Basin Avenue. You can give them a call at 775-751-7020. Or you can look them up at DesertHavenAnimalSociety.org. Or check them out on Facebook at Desert Haven Animal Society. Barbara Johnston has a new name for a group called Student Stitchers. We spoke to her and real estate agent Kathy Slaughterback. Kathy was very, very generous and gave us a donation for the fleece. And we had a small donation also from Dickie's Barbecue from our fundraiser that we had there at the beginning of the month. Now tell us about this fleece. It's going to be used to make scarves and blankets, right? Correct. We will have blankets and scarves. The scarves just take too long to knit the amount we need when you need over 500. So we'll be cutting these and then fringing the ends. So if anyone has a little bit of time at the end of May, um, give me a call. If you can operate a scissors, you can fringe a scarf. Five yards will make up to 50 scarves, you said, right? Correct. You guys also just finished your yarn drive as well. Yes, we did. And uh, we mentioned it here and, of course, on Facebook and on our local newspaper. And we had the biggest yarn drive ever. We had more this year than all the past years combined. It's crazy. You guys got so much, so many different colors. Yes, it's, it's, a rain, it's skittles and rainbows and everything all combined. So you guys, are you going to have an event in May to sew and do stuff like that? Well, not so much so. We're going to be cutting fleece. Okay. Just cutting the fleece and uh, fringing it. And do you know when that's going to be? I haven't set that up yet, no. Okay, we'll definitely get in contact with you about that. If people want to find more, find out more about what you guys are doing, how can they get in contact with you? Just give me a call. It's 775-751-5356. Well, you know, Easter is this weekend, so here's Patty Diamond with more with Divas on a Dime. Hi, I'm Patty Diamond from DivasOnADime.com, where frugal meets fabulous. We are making bunny buns. They're actually like little rolls. I suppose anyone could make rabbit rolls. That would be good for anyone, but we are going to make bunny buns, and I'm going to show you how. I have used first pizza crust, just regular refrigerated pizza dough, pizza dough. I've rolled it quite thin on my countertop. I put flour on the countertop, then I rolled it nice and thin. Now I'm going to start cutting it into sections. That'll be next. I'm going to make, hopefully, equal sections here with the, um, with the dough. And if they're not equal, so what? Okay, I've set two pieces of side, because uh, those are going to be our little bunny tails. Now I take a piece here, and you roll it, make it into a nice little roll, and now you're going to shape it over here on the tray. What you do is you take it and you twist it twice, lay it down, fluff up this little loop section, and then shape your ears how you want them. Kind of squish it all together. And keep in mind, it's going to rise. 
Okay. See, they're all differently shaped. Some of the ears are up and some of them are down. That's fine. They're cute. Now, I've taken the remaining two or the, the reserved two strips and I cut it into pieces. And now I'm rolling it into little balls. And these little balls are going to be their little tails. And they fit right in this uh, little loop here. Alrighty, we've taken all of our little finished uh, formed bunnies here and now I am brushing them with a mixture of egg white and a little tiny bit of water and after that I'm going to take a little coarse sea salt and those went into a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes you'll want to keep an eye on them and they come out looking like this see aren't they adorable they're so cute. You can serve these with marinara, you can serve them with honey mustard, ranch dressing, um, anything that you would serve a pretzel with. Thank you so much and I hope you'll come and visit us at divasonadime.com and join us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks so much. Bye. Thanks Patty. Well let's see what it looks like outside right now with our weather cam. There you go. And uh, it's looking pretty good but we'll see what's coming up for the weekend and the week with Noah.